US memory chip firm Micron Technology has signed an MOU with the Gujarat government to build a 2.75 billion semiconductor assembly and test plant. The company said it will employ a workforce of 5,000 and create an additional 15,000 community jobs over the next five years. Additionally, Applied Materials announced last week that it will make a semiconductor center for commercialization and innovation in India to diversify the country's semiconductor supply chains. Meanwhile, LAM Research said it will train 60,000 Indian engineers as part of its Semiverse solution to help the country meet its semiconductor education and workforce development objectives. But Micron's MOU signing with the state government is now seen as the first step towards Atmanirbhan memory chip making. This is an important step since the idea of making chips, which was first glimpsed decades ago, is finally taking shape now. It began with the state-owned semiconductor fabrication foundry in Mohali, known as Semiconductor Complex Limited, SCL. It was initially successful and it produced a number of chips for the Indian market. But in 1989, a fire broke out at SCL's facility and destroyed a large part of the plant and no clear information about the cause of the fire was released. SCL was able to restart production in 1997, but the plant was outdated and unable to compete with more efficient fabs in other countries. In 2006, it was renamed as Semiconductor Laboratory. While the fire was a devastating setback for India's semiconductor manufacturing efforts, there were other reasons which slowed the growth. It is believed that the SCL faced a number of bureaucratic hurdles in its history. There was a difficulty in getting approvals for new projects. It did not receive the level of support from the government that it needed. Lack of initiatives to grow the talent pool for a thriving industry. Unpredictable changes in policy which first came in 2007 and higher tax on imported semiconductor vapors. All of these played separate roles in slowing down the growth. However, the government now has decided to invest in this facility to modernize it. But the necessity to become a chip hub was first felt during the pandemic, seeing the growing demand all over the world. The government then launched the Indian Semiconductor Mission. Since then, many companies have been in talks with the center and changes have been made in the program after talking to industry, according to which uh, the requirement is not about making cutting edge chips anymore. And based on new guidelines, Vedanta Foxconn has already submitted a new proposal for making simpler and less costly 40 nanometer chips. So all over, as it looks now, even though India's uh, semiconductor dream has taken a long time to become a reality with the right policies, measures to grow the talent pool and the involvement of uh, private giants, the dream of becoming a manufacturing hub can be achieved. This is Bhashwati Guhamuchumdar for CNN News 18.